Hey there folks, Mark from Spectrum Pulse here, and today we have from Swans, The Beggar. In retrospect, I should not be surprised that this is the Swans album that we got, especially following Leaving Meaning and all the questions of what ultimately remains after we pass from this world, in the meaning that we place in the art that we create, and how much time and societal upheaval will just fracture and distort it all. And all that matters is the primal experience. Now my review framed that project as feeling very very disjointed and nihilistic in an abstract postmodern way, but with the beggar feeling more thematically focused on encroaching entropy, the inevitability of death, the wistful brutality of the realizations, they do feel more poignant. But I'll also say the beggar feels more grounded in personal emotions. Michael Jira does not have the visceral power in his delivery that he once did, so sonically this is once again pulling from early 90s swans like White Light from the Mouth of Infinity. But now with a little bit more from the great Annihilator as well, especially with a cut like Los Angeles City of Death. And at least on the first half, it does feel considerably better structured. The melodies cycle and crescendo more effectively. The choral vocals, lap pedal steel, climactic drums, and guitars both acoustic and electric bring a bluesier timbre while still feeling distinctly eerie with some of the flutes and the synths. And Michael Jira cycles through a broader range of emotionality that one might face at their very end. A slouching disgust at one's decay decay, genuine rage and sadness, regret from the debasements that we've indulged to keep on living, and a scream of loving rage for what we have denied ourselves, oh, why can't I have what I want anytime I want, and then finally a grim acceptance of the inevitable, and a curiosity to see whatever cosmic hell will come next. Swans have always been great at capturing transcendence, and it's just as true here. Now the second half leans on drone and sound collage, with a single track running 43 minutes for those who have lived alongside this person clinging to the scraps of life, and then a smaller bonus cut reflecting on a full life lived with more finality. I mean, the length does make sense because for one begging and reaching at the end of one's life, what would have the most value but time itself? But in comparison to other Swans pieces that run this long, while conceptually I can appreciate all the ebbs and flows, it's not one that really sticks. I'm not going to revisit it much. But as a whole, I mean, I liked it more than leaving meaning. Conceptually, it feels more personal and immediate with stronger melodies. And while it does retrace some old sonic territory, I would argue it's a much more satisfying manifestation of it. Definitely an album I'd be re-examining more in pieces than as a whole, and I would not put it among Swans' best, but as a career coda, especially for longtime fans, I think they stick the landing. Impressive stuff check it out. Now, if you want to see more reviews, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to actually help support the channel or get albums on my schedule, check out my Patreon. And as always, I'll see you next time.